Okay, so this is what the door looks like from the hallway into the flat. It has our name tags and some various pictures on it. Okay, so here we have um, two recycling bins and a waste bin. And then we also have the kitchen area with the counter and the sink. Sorry, it's really messy. So yeah, we can do our dishes here and we have some various dish supplies. All right, and then we under here we have one drawer that it got a little stuck and you know we just store some various items in here again sorry it's so messy and underneath here we have two little tiny cabinets that we just store more stuff in here like dishes and little trash bins okay over here we just have an extra chair and a printer and then we have our micro fridge here that's actually mine so yeah I rented it so yeah okay going down into the flat hallway on the left here is going to be the bathroom. So we have another one on the right side, but this is the one that I share with one other girl. So here's an overview of the shower real quick. Really nice tiles, and I really like how bright and white and open it is. So a really nice vanity mirror over here. Sorry, I look a little gross. I just got back from the gym. And we have our sink. And then we have the toilet on this side. And then behind the door, we have this really nice storage area. So there are six mini shelves that we can put various stuff on. I'm the one that usually uses them, but sometimes my flatmate will put stuff. And yeah, there's a little towel rack right on the back of the door as well. And a little hook. Okay, going in. So I'm all the way on the left. So 505A. I just have some various items on my door. So let's get into it. Okay, so over here, this is my... Ooh. Okay, so when we walk in the door, this is the back of my door. I just have some hooks on here, you know, to save some space, get as much um, vertical space as I can. So over here we have a little peephole, which is really nice. It's a one-way, so you can see them, but they can't see you. My Bob's Burger poster, which I really love. And yeah, just some sort of winter stuff and my purse. All right. So over here we have my desk. It's, like, super crowded, but bear with me. So... Um, it comes with like a little up top part where it's like lofted. So I opted to put my mirror and my personal products here. So I didn't have to take out a drawer and use it there. So on this I have like stuff I use every day like my deodorant, some hand lotion, sunglasses, and my rings. Then underneath I just have some other products that I use once in a while. Then over here I have my jewelry. So I have like all my bracelets here, some hair tie, no some, sorry, some hair bands and necklaces and I have my little vanity mirror and then next I have my makeup holder that's super crowded I need to get a new one that has more space but yeah I just keep all my makeup in there and then I just have like this little holder where I keep my naked palettes so there's my naked three my naked two and just I don't know some more stuff back there and then there's where I keep my beats pill coming down here I have some of my books I know like a lot of these like dorm videos there's like two books like nah for me I got like everything and I have more in my backpack so yeah, I just like having them within arm's reach. Some people put it in some drawers, but I don't know. I just really like it having right there if I need to get something really quickly. Then I just have a little plant. I don't know. I really like having a plant in my room. I feel like it livens it up. And then I have an index card holder where I like to really take notes and study off of index cards. So I do that. The pencil sharpener. And I keep my pens, highlighters, and you name it in this little candle holder from Yankee Candle, which I think is super cute. And then in the back of the desk is a bulletin board so you can hang stuff up. So mine's pretty crowded right now. But yeah, I just have a map of campus if I ever get lost. I have the calendar, which is all the breaks. I have a list of all the abbreviations so I know which room is where. And just some other assorted stuff at the bottom. So now we move on to the more of the desk part. It is a pretty big desk. So I usually just keep my computer here and my planner and my beats. And oh, those are some old batteries I gotta get rid of. And yeah, and then I keep my alarm clock over here and I keep it with this little like divider, which I really like because I have a lot of like electronics going on. So it keeps it all organized. So the desk has multiple drawers. So drawer number one is super messy. I'm super sorry. I need to clean it. It's just like this thing. You can keep a keyboard in here. Just some like other stuff I keep like my medications in here, my calculator, some office supplies, a hairbrush apparently. And yeah. The next part of my drawer is again just filled with more stuff. I keep more office supplies in here, tissues, just, you know, more stuff. I really need to go through it. <laughs> Second thing, I keep some extra books. Apparently my Verizon Protect. Some of my camera stuff in here. 
And then the last drawer, I again, just more storage stuff. I keep my computer case in there, my lab goggles, and just some, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then up here uh -huh. is super funny. It's um for on um, VidCom, like all the educators for YouTube like met up. So that was Patrick JMT, Bosman Science, and Tyler Dewitz. They all took a picture together. I'm just like the holy trinity of learning. So yeah, because I'm in math and chem right now. So these two have been helping me with chem. They have been helping me with math. All right. So moving here, we have a closet. <laughs> So let's get into it. So in the closet, it has a full length mirror, which is super nice. Sorry, I look a little gross. I just came from the gym. So yeah, so it's really nice because you don't have to bring your own mirror, which is super nice. So it's one last thing to bring. So opening it up all the way. Again, I put another command hook so I could put my bathrobe here. And then I just have, you know, some clothes. It's actually not super packed. Oh, I just let something off. Yeah, I keep like this like divider thing as all my scarves. And I just keep some Victoria's Secret pink bins up here just to store some extra stuff. I haven't been using them that much. Some string. And yeah, and then I also keep a three-piece drawer in here, which again, just some more personal products, whatever. And I keep my laundry hamper in there, too. And then above, I keep an under-the-bed um, little drawer. I don't have enough room for it under my bed, but I'm not really using much space in my closet, so it's a nice place to put it. Okay. Moving over here, we have, I have a little chair in here, just for like when I have some guests over and I just keep some extra pillows there. Then I keep my longer jewelry over here, which is starting to get crowded, I need to make another one. Then I keep an ottoman right here, which is super nice because not only can people sit on it, I also use it as like a bit of a nightstand too, for, since it's right next to my bed. And I can store stuff in there, which is super nice. Coming up here, I made my little heart collage of all my friends from high school and my pet and my sister and my family. So that's really nice. You know, remember where you came from. All right. And then I have a joke periodic table since I'm in this really hard chem class. So it's just, I don't know. So it's like chemistry is always with me in my dreams. And then I have this little map of the world and then a little dream. Ooh, and then I have a map of the world and a little dream catcher. All right, now getting to the actual bed. So this is my bed. I got this comforter at Target. And then I think I also got these sheets at Target. So this is a memory foam pillow, which I like really like. So it's really nice. I keep some extra pillows back here and then a little, um, oh, I'm blanking on the name of it. All right. And then I also put this memory pad on here because these beds are like really hard. So I really like it. It's nice and cozy, but these beds are super long, as you can probably tell. So it's really nice. So it really fit anyone. All right, so going underneath my bed, so everything wooden basically was provided to me by the school. So under here, this one's just like my bras and underwear. This one, I keep some pants and also my PJs in. This one, I keep some shirts, sweaters, and other stuff in there. And this last one, I kind of just use to store my extra sheets, some other stuff. Not really sure what all this stuff is, but yeah. And then I keep my, pill my little slippers right here, which are super cute. Ooh, there's a tack on my bed. Not good. All right. So, fortunately, my bed didn't get to the whole part of the wall. Like, it actually fit this way. So, I was able to keep this little cart here. It's, I need to go through it. It's, like, super messy. But I was able to put my TV here, which is super nice because I can watch TV in bed. I can also play my video games from bed, which is super awesome. So, yeah. And then lastly, this is my windowsill. I'm actually using it as like a substitute nightstand, sort of, since I don't really, I mean, my ottoman's like partly one, but yeah. So I just have a picture here of Aubrey Hepworth, little quotes. I keep my charger from my iPod and my phone. I keep this little jewelry holder because I have a hair tie or like rings before I go to bed. This is my Yankee, ooh, sorry, my focus, come on. All right, so this is my Yankee Candle um, scent thing. You can wax, you can melt wax in it, and it releases smell, which is really good because you can't have any candles in college, so it's like a nice substitute. That's just my little fan. I like it for white noise, and that's just a light. I usually don't use it much because I usually just use the overhead, but it's just nice if I want a little reading light. And then these are my little windows I can open up, and the windows do go up pretty high. 
I can't open up those part, I can only open up the little part, but you have a pretty nice few windows. So I'll show you guys my view from my room. Alright, so I don't have the best view, I just have a view of the other building that's across from me, because I live in a community, so all the four buildings look the same. And yeah, that's the student health services, and then we have a little bit of like a nature trail, which I can sort of see, so it's like sort of pretty, but it's not like the best view ever. Then down there, there's a little gazebo, which I can see. And yeah. Hey guys, so thanks for watching. So yeah, that was a tour of my dorm room here at SUNY Binghamton. Um, for you guys that are actually interested in the school, it's important to note that this is uh, um, the Dickinson community. There's multiple living communities in Binghamton University, and this would be the Dickinson one. But yeah, I love my dorm room and I'm going to live here again actually next year in the same exact spot, so I'm super excited about it. And on another note, I'm sorry, I have been really slow with uploading. It's been crazy. Um, my family's actually moving, which I'll give you some new um, house tours and room tours of my new house. And also just school has just been hectic. But thank you guys for still following me and if you like what you see, thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully I'll give you more college videos if that's what you're into. And yeah. So, bye guys!